Hey guys, Shane here. Uh, so what I have for you today is just a video outline, uh, kind of showing you guys how I'm planning on breaking down uh, this cosplay project that I'm doing. Uh, I'm collaborating with Kirby and Chelsea on this. We're actually doing Smash characters, and we're planning to do our own special spin on them. Why don't I do a cosplay of Link, but not do the stock standard version, kind of have like a little twist to it, give him a more a semi-regal warrior look that still looks like an, an adventurer. So I was originally thinking Meta Knight uh, from Kirby, but you know, from Smash. And I was thinking more of like, you know, adapting it like closer towards like the Witcher or something like that. So let's just get started. The main Witcher armor that I'm sort of like using as my template for this is the Ursine armor. Uh, this one's really, really nice because it's basically got that nice flowing texture that Meta Knight has. And I'm basically going to change a few details here, maybe omit one or two. The number one thing that I do want to accomplish with this though is that I want to make it look war-torn. I want to make it look dirty, smudged, just want to desaturate the colors really, uh, because it is going to be in navy majority, but the armor pieces I'm going to go for like a dark steel color. Um, so let's just break this down for the head. It's going to be a helmet, and it's loosely going to be based off of the Elite Knight from Dark Souls, that helmet, with inspirations behind Meta Knight's actual like mask. So I will have that visor. I'm probably going to get rid of those uh, holes on the sides, but at the very top, I will have those almost like frills coming out. There's going to be four of them, so perfect. Uh, but for the face shield, it's going to be contoured so that there's an actual jawline for some realism here. Um, and it will more or less follow the aesthetic of Meta Knight. Uh, I will have like almost like a cut over one eye. I may have like glowing sort of like LEDs like underneath it, but we'll see. I feel as though just keeping it black might just be the best, just to keep it simple. All right, torso. So. Uh, the main torso is actually just one leather, like, chest armor piece. Uh, it's gonna be basically, uh, made out of, like, plated traps. Uh, there's gonna be a fabric tunic underneath, which is going to be the majority of the entire cosplay. Um, and that tunic is actually going to be navy with, a uh, gold trim at the end. Sort of still following, like, you know, the color scheme that Meta Knight has going on. Alright, onto the arms. So, upper cannon and lower cannon, this is just how I'm gonna break it down, uh, inspired off for Cobra Kwan Jr. Um, and the upper cannons, it's going to have a staggered like dark steel plates kind of like going down um, on both sides. This is going to be really sort of like, I don't know, how should I say, like a thicker piece of armor, might be maybe like a four millimeter EVA foam. Uh, whereas like the lower cannon, which is going to be the metal bracers, uh, these are going to be held together with like a leather lacing and it'll be a slightly brighter color, might be like a brilliant metal, um, but I believe that it is fairly close to the shoulder pieces. Legs. Uh, for this one, uh, I'm going to go for dark steel greaves uh, with maybe some like silver or like uh, brighter iron like sheens coming out at the very edges. Uh, and then for my pants, I mean, no one's really gonna see them because of the long tunic, so it's probably just gonna be cargoes. Something comfortable, something breathable. Um, and with all that, I mean, there's not really too much else. The boots, I'm probably going to build out of EVA foam and just cover them like over some sneakers. But otherwise, everything is going to look very dark, a little more like, you know, dirty and faded. Um, basically just war-torn, like I said before. And now for the hardest part, in my opinion, the sword. Uh, if you look at Meta Knight's sword, it is ridiculous. It doesn't make any sense. It's like these weird, like, sets of tridents, like, stacked on top of one another. And it's gold. So I'm probably just going to take a few inspirations off of it. First, I'm probably going to go for the guard. And I'm probably going to make that into an EVA foam sleeve uh, with a red gem. Uh, and I'm probably going to use, like, a spark foam. Excalibur sword, you can find it on Amazon. To get that sort of weird spiky pattern that comes out of it, I'm probably gonna do a temper line detailing, uh, almost like a leaf uh, for the center of the sword going all the way up. And I'll probably do that bit in gold. Or probably color the entire sword gold, but with that one like almost like a darker, closer to an orange. Outside of that, I think that that's pretty good for a plan with this crossover between Witcher and Meta Knight. Uh, 
Hopefully everything works out, but I'll basically be running through the process with you guys, so you'll see everything every step of the way. Hope you guys enjoyed this little video outline. Uh, don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, as well as follow us on uh, our YouTube channel. And remember, if you can dream it, you can make it, you become it. See ya.